Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. <clears throat> uh, hi. Feeling a little bit overwhelmed today. Uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, we're we're going to look at a bunch of cool snakes, so that's fun. That's cool. That's good. I just... <clears throat> You know, when I tell people that I feed frozen thawed, I do, and I feed only frozen thawed and get baby started on frozen thawed, and some people think I'm crazy for doing that. I've mentioned that before, and before, hold on. Before we get into all that, um, if this is your first time to the channel, we upload beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces to this channel, but today's video is uncut. And in today's Uncut, I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I'm feeling so overwhelmed. Uh, but that's not all I'm going to go. Well, like I said, we're going to check out some snakes. If you missed the last video, I, I changed the title and the thumbnail because sometimes if a video doesn't do well, like in the first couple hours when it's up, I'll do that. I did that. So now it's called, what is it called? It's called, uh, well, whatever that set up there. Like we're going for it. Yeah, I think that was it. But originally it said how and why you should breed ball pythons. And I gave a pretty good video. I had the nice graphics and nice, um, you know, there's cinematography. <laughs> and uh, it was good. It was good. I thought there was lots of good information about how I breed ball pythons and why I think people should. Um, so go ahead and check that one out if you if you haven't already. If you don't check it out up here because you're not able to click on here because you're watching on your TV or something, you don't see that little card pop out, then down in the description, I'll have a link there for that. So you can check it out down there. And also while you're down there checking out the link in the description, go down there and click the like button. Not just because I want you to, but because I clicked the like button on a video the other day on YouTube and I was kind of surprised about what happened. I, YouTube like changed some stuff or whatever and I, I clicked the like button. I was like, whoa, that was fun. So do it just for that. Do it for yourself. You'll, you'll appreciate it. <clears throat> now. Yeah, just feeding snakes. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed because... I've got a lot of snakes that don't want to eat for whatever reason. And as you saw, if you've been watching the past few weeks, we got a bunch of babies coming in. This this entire thing up here is actually full for the first time because my rack over there, well, it's not completely full. That one back there with the one that I keep the babies in right there, that, that one's not 100% full anymore because some babies are sold. In fact, I actually sold a, a snake today to somebody here locally, a buddy here locally. It was pretty fun. I always like to sell a snake locally, know where it's going. And it was actually chocolate. So Leia gets to go and uh, see chocolate just across town here whenever she wants to. So that's nice. And yeah, we're going to look at a bunch of the snakes that are up here. Babies. Really cool because we had so many hatching out that I didn't really take the time to go over the clutches so much. So we're going to go over one of those clutches today. And we're going to do that right after I continue complaining about the things that I'm overwhelmed with. <laughs> just, just, just real quick. I, it's going to really, it's really already feels better. I wasn't even going to record this video. I was like, you know what? I'm going to skip the unkept video this week because I'm too overwhelmed. I'm not going to do it. And I changed my mind. I was like, okay, let's do this. Well, you know what? Freedom Breeder Rack Shelf. Super convenient. You should get yourself one. Uh, reason one, besides snakes and trying to get the meeting. I messed up my knee during the last half marathon that I was doing, which was last week. And I was, I'm so overwhelmed with that because I, I was just starting to get, like, starting to put some mileage in. And now I got to stop to let the knee heal up. So I'm a little overwhelmed with that because, believe it or not, all this running I've been doing, it makes me feel amazing. And now that I can't run, I'm like, oh, I'm starting to feel a little drained. Um... I've still I've been putting in time on the bike. I, I worked out a little bit this morning, did a light jogging on the grass, little tiny small laps very slowly in between sets of pull-ups. So I'm keeping active, but man, I'm telling you what, the running is really good and I'm missing it. And I'm missing the, the long runs I've been going on for this week. So that's that's kind of brought my energy down a little bit and maybe feel a little bit overwhelmed with everything else that's happening because when I felt like I was running, all of a sudden I had way more energy. So it's this weird balance. Any of you guys that run a lot out there probably know what I'm talking about. You run and like it gives you energy. Anyway, uh, that on top of the fact that I think I might be getting sick right now because Eli's been sick and I think he might be passing it on to me and I'm supposed to drive 500 miles tomorrow. So uh, feeling overwhelmed, but done complaining. Done being a little De Debbie Downer or whatever. I know that the Lord is good. I know that uh, he's going to bring plenty of joy out of whatever sorrows I'm having right now. I know that's all coming. So 
I'm doing this video and we're gonna check out some snakes. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, one more thing. One more thing before you check out the snakes. It's just, I know probably half of you don't care about this, but I think it's pretty cool. It's this chair that I just got. Look, it fits. It fits in this little bag right here, which is freaking sweet. And then it's like got these two legs on the bottom and it sets up like, look, check this out. Tell me, tell me that I don't look comfy right now. Tell me. Oh. Oh yeah, you can keep, I can put this thing in my pocket and bring it with me. How cool is this? Oh, it's fantastic. You can rock, you can roll. It feels so good. You can sit up, you can, you can roast marshmallows on the campfire. Woo! All right, snake time. Let's go. Snakey McBakey. We'll start here. Why not? Rack shelf, boom, convenient, get one. Oh, and he just shed out. See, I said that I usually separate them before they shed, but as you can see here, brrr, he tricked me. He hadn't even shed yet, but there he goes. And that to me, well, that looks like a spot nose if I do say so myself. And I'm gonna say that's a spot nose. Het clown, and if I'm not mistaken, this is a female. I got pretty heavy um, females in the clutch actually, which is pretty fun. Um, I'm not going to guarantee the sexes and I'm not going to sex them right now because it's not even, doesn't matter. Th th these all will go up on Morph Market at s some point. Sorry about the mic noise. They, but they will go up on Morph Market at some point. Um, not all of them because I'm definitely keeping some. But these are all, all these things I'm about to show you are going to be Het Clown. And we're going to clip through them because uh, there's, a, there's a few. There's a big clutch. There's a big clutch. Got a lot of snakes. And here we go. That's number one. I will tell you that when they do go up on Morph Market, they're gonna be clutch number. Twenty-two. Oh, that's the wrong tub. Clutch number twenty-two oh five. It's gonna be clutch number twenty-two oh five, and that was gonna be number one. They're gonna be ordered like that. Twenty-two. Oh, well, maybe not because they're not on one up. Forget all that. But it will be clutch twenty-two oh five. Just you won't know the numbers of them. Uh, this is going to be the GHI Spot Nose Red Stripe Enchi. Did I say Enchi? GHI Spot Nose Enchi Red Stripe Clown to a Cinnamon Lesser Het Clown. So 100% clown on this clutch. And this, I believe, is going to be an Enchi Spot Nose. And... I believe that's that's all. I'm going to be going through and, and triple checking with all of my uh, identifications of these snakes before I actually do decide to move with any of them. But yeah, that that animal came out pretty sweet. Spot nose, Enchi, and the Het Clown influence brightening it up a little bit. Looking, looking pretty nice. Looking pretty sweet. There's a better focus angle right there. Right there. Oh yeah. That's good. Remember these shirts? Who has one of these shirts? Only a handful of people got these. Maybe I should put them back down there. All right. Moving right along. Okay. Coming back down with another beautiful snake. And this one is going to be a cinnamon. And I don't know that we got spot nose in here or anything like that. Might be red stripe. I'm going to have to... Uh, Go to the experts on this one as far as that goes, but it's definitely a cinnamon. It's a hundred percent a cinnamon. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind about that. And it's, you know, the, the thing that's tricking me maybe it's the het clown influence making it look a little extra nice. But either way, it's definitely a cinnamon. I'm gonna move this camera over here a little bit and get a little bit better angle on the lighting without dropping my camera on the floor. Thank you very much. Yeah, so it's a good looking snake, right? All right, moving on. Because we got time. Time's a ticking. I'm actually doing a Zoom call right after I finish filming this video. We've got my good buddy, good buddy old pal, Mr. Dave Kaufman. Uh, Mr. Dave Kaufman, he, he agreed to come on to our Zoom call that we do every week with our Patreon community. There's a link down there as well if you want to join us on Patreon. Um, once a week we do Zoom calls, whether we have a guest or not. But this week we're going to have our guest, Mr. Dave Kaufman, and he's going to debrief about his Africa trip and tell us all the things that he didn't talk about on his own video. All the nitty gritty stuff that he already told me. 
super nitty, super gritty. Check it out. And we're going to be having more friends on there too. So cinnamon and chi and I'm not certain about the spot. I'm, I'm just going to say this is a really nice cinnamon and chi. And maybe I will say there's spot nose actually now that I'm looking at it. The heck clown influence maybe it's the reason I'm because I, I, I make plenty of cinnamon and cheese and None of them look quite like this, but the cinnamon and she's usually make her head sunset, so there's that influence there, but this one I'm thinking is cinnamon and she spot nose. That's what my brain's telling me because of the way the uh, the pattern is much different than any other cinnamon and she's I ever put out there, and it seems to be a bit more contrast happening, a little bit more dark, a little more, a bit more light, a little bit more focus, please. Thank you. And, uh, oh my gosh, there we go. The focus is just a, it's an issue. It's an issue. It's looking okay right there. But the sides of these snakes, there's, it's really where you find a lot of the amazingness. But there you go. There's that. Let's take a, let's keep, keep moving. Cusco, keep moving. Cusco uncut. No time to cut between taking the snakes and putting them back away. And we got four more to go. Oh, Lord. I don't know if there's time for that. See, I made these racks the exact perfect height that I can just barely, barely reach the top. Just barely. We're gonna do two at a time because we're running out of time. Time is a ticking. See that? 10 minutes left and I gotta get on this Zoom call. I'm not even, I haven't even put on my makeup yet. So here's two snakes. This one is definitely Enchi. Um, no cinnamon. So, Enchi, I'm thinking Enchi is definitely not just an, oh my gosh, can we get some focus, please? It's definitely not just an Enchi. There's no way that that is just an Enchi, right? Right? There's no way that's just an Enchi. It's got to be like an Enchi red stripe or something or other. It's got to be something like that, right? Look at, can you please focus for the love of everything that is good in this world, camera? I mean, I'm going to tap it. There we go tracking so yeah take a look at that there and then take a look at that there this this is the one that got lesser it seemed like none of them managed to get lesser oh my gosh if this camera doesn't focus i'm going to just i'm just going to have a small uh breakdown a tiny breakdown the smallest breakdown you've ever seen but yeah cinnamon lesser red stripe why not why not this one, this is, this is a good looking snake. Okay, 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 okay. Time's a ticking, time's a ticking. Yeah. Oh, I'm hurting myself. Okay. All right, snakes, you go back up. We got two more to show. Two more. We can do it. We're almost there. I shouldn't have closed that. Oh, it's all right. We got another one over here. And, uh, just in case you couldn't believe this was a clown clutch because there was no clowns yet, there it is. Sorry if my if I'm being a little overwhelming over the top. I, I just I can't help it. That's how I feel. I feel this. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling overwhelmed at the fact that this will not flip in focus. Are we kidding right now? Yeah, aloha. Aloha, come on camera, get in the aloha spirit and focus on these, are you kidding me right now? This has got to be a joke. Somebody's messing with me, who's messing with me? Come on, somebody's out there messing with me, stop it. There we go. Wow. There's the clowns from the clutch. I'm thinking red stripe over here because of the look at that. And then I'm thinking uh, Anchi Lesser. And until there's some more sheds happening on this snake, that's that's all I'm going to say. Even though it's possible that there's more. Even though it's possible that it's not just cinnamon. No, no cinnamon, sorry. Uh, not just Enchi Lesser. Uh, time will tell, 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 time will tell. Time. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of yourselves. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.